All right, let's talk about your boy, man. Who, Brandon Tatum? No, LeBron, <laughs> man. Y'all, yo, oh. let me let me just speak my piece before you kill him. Y'all kill him. I'm seeing he's getting a lot of hate on, on the timeline everywhere. You know, um, everybody. Max Kellerman's taking shots at LeBron. It's open season on LeBron. Yep. First of all, I don't know why Daryl Morey is the one who the, – the Houston GM that stated this, how he skated out of this. You know, it's like <laughs> the white man says something, yeah, but – the, they they put the black man right in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. So he can take all the heat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. You know, um, you know, did, did LeBron James made a business decision. That's what he did. You know, um, he's looking out for himself, and he's also looking out for the other players. You know, this this statement killed deals. It killed deals. Couple of people lost million dollar deals out of here, you know. So he was just speaking like, do we? I mean, well, he should have said, "Listen, Chinese communists buy sneakers too." That's what he should have said. He should have. <laughs> he should have pulled a Jordan and said, "The weird out Jordan was supposedly said Republicans buy sneakers too." LeBron should have said, "Communist Chinese." Buy sneakers too, and I ain't saying a goddamn thing. <laughs> I've been taking money out of black man's pocket, man. Well, you already nailed it. We working for the white liberal, <laughs> you know. Like you said, the Moray dude started this. I'm gonna tell you what happened. All right, Nike called LeBron. Nike gave LeBron a billy not to run away. That's what Kanye said. Nike called LeBron and said, "Yo." We need your help, nigga. <laughs> need you to run some interference for us. And LeBron, like the good house nigga that he is, <laughs> <laughs> he obliged. <laughs> and he went ahead and said what he said. What he should have said was nothing. He should have said next question. But LeBron want to be Obama. Anytime something happened, he want to be. I remember they asked Kyrie something. They said, do you see LeBron as a father figure? And Kyrie was like, what are you talking about? I have a dad. <laughs> right. But that's how LeBron tries to be. He tries to be like the dad everywhere he goes. So he's trying to be the dad for the NBA players. Nigga, shut up and dribble. That's <laughs> all you got to do, yo. Shut up and dribble. You're not educated. Then he tried to say that, oh, he was just talking about the fact that Moray spoke up. No, you said Moray wasn't hip to the facts at hand. Survey says you're wrong, LeBron. <laughs> Moray was on point. He didn't say anything wrong. He said pray for Hong Kong as he should. It's you, LeBron, that sided with Mao. It's you, LeBron, that sided with the communists. Why? So you can sell some Nikes. I've been saying since 2011, boycott Nike. I burnt all my Jordans. The Hong Kong protesters, they burnt their LeBron James jerseys. <laughs> they burnt their NBA jerseys. I've been saying since 2013 or 14, boycott the NFL, boycott the NBA. Everybody cuss me out. Nobody want to listen to me. Here we are, 2019. Hopefully in 2019, you guys, or, or in 2020, you guys have perfect vision and you can follow the boy. You can follow the vision. You can see what I see. But again, this is just Nike as Jason Whitlock exposed. This is Nike controlling LeBron. And the white liberal using black people to fight their battles. White communists. This is, <laughs> this is my problem with uh, the civil rights movement. Because the civil rights movement was supposed to be the second civil war. And the civil rights movement was actually created by the bankers. And the civil rights movement was very much socialist, a.k.a. communist. Civil rights movement was 
backed by the NAACP, a white organization. Alt right's gonna kill me because I didn't put the brackets around that. NAACP, this bootlicking Negro organization, bunch of Uncle Toms and Shines and sellouts. That's what the NAACP was. And this is and this is what we have controlling the black community. They ain't listening to Malcolm X back then. They wasn't listening to um Elijah Muhammad back then, but they was listening to Elijah Cummins. They was listening to Dr. Martin Luther King. They was listening to Bernie Sanders' ass. Bernie Sanders talking about he was walking at Selma. I know. That's why we were so misled, because you and your people were involved. <laughs> but that, it just goes to show you that the history of the white communists using black people as fodder, using black people as pawns for his chess game, is not known. This goes back to decades before we were born. Yeah, I mean, you expect Nike to flex. I mean, at the end of the day, LeBron James is an employee. You know, they signed him a lifetime deal. That's your life. <laughs> That's your life. <laughs> <laughs> you sold your soul, literally. You sold your soul. Um, but <laughs> it's it's just bad that I don't, you know a lot of people were saying you know. He speaks out about all these other issues, and now he want to he want to shut his trap. First of all, yeah, I gotta shoot him some bail because how is he gonna know anything about Hong Kong? About what? Like, how is he gonna know anything really about Hong Kong? We're not asking. Did anybody ask Jackie Chan? I want to hear what Jackie Chan was has to say about China. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what LeBron James got to say. He don't know nothing. <laughs> Is there like, some Asians we can ask, man? <laughs> like, why are we asking black folks about China? <laughs> you know? American black folks. Because the Chinese Nigeria or something like that. Because the Chinese ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan ain't about to get all his movies canceled. <laughs> He's been working way too hard to have all them kung fu flicks canceled in China. He ain't fucking with y'all. <laughs> He is, he is part of the bourgeoisie. He is not the proletariat. <laughs> yeah, but listen, this just shows you how much different than, you know, athletes of the day uh, than the athletes of the 60s. You know, uh, Muhammad, Ali, uh, Muhammad Ali lost his title for three years. He went to jail. Yeah. He went to jail for activism. He said he wasn't going to fight the Viet Cong. Viet Cong, Viet Cong didn't do, Vietnamese didn't do nothing to, to him. <laughs> Viet Cong ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was right. That's another banker-led war. But we were funding both sides. Found out we were funding Russia, or, or we were sending them weapons to Russia, and Russia was sending the weapons to the Viet Cong. So another war set up by the by the by the bankers. Yes. We haven't had an we haven't had an organic war since people was fighting with swords and shields. <laughs> All wars are bankers' wars. Sure. Everybody. Well, everybody that comes in here should. I hope <laughs> they better. I'll ban your ass from HotepCon. <laughs> All right, well, so, so shout out LeBron. Um, he's counting his Chinese ducats. I'm loving the memes. People, do, people aren't letting up though. This might have damaged his legacy, man. How much <laughs> you think he damaged his leg? I'm seeing they had the one of him kneeling in front of the Chinese flag. I seen one with Winnie the Pooh as, as whatever the Chinese leader is behind <laughs> LeBron. I'm like, oh man, y'all just violating them now, man. I you had. See that thing, man? Yeah, I had I had Chad put the Chinese national anthem <laughs> behind LeBron dancing. <laughs> Chad Chad chopped it up. I saw that I was dying. <laughs> Yo, I mean the jokes gonna fly, right? You right. gonna catch these jokes. You do something stupid, you're gonna catch these jokes. If I do something stupid, I fully expect to catch these jokes. You know, does it hurt his legacy? There's a bit of a burn, there's a bit of a stain on his legacy. Next week, nobody's gonna care, right? And people got a short-term memory. Um, but now nah, he's he's uh it's definitely a bit of a people people are always gonna bring this up, 
Remember that time LeBron sided with China? This is this is something that people are gonna remember for for a long time. Yeah. Um, but the memes was funny as hell. <laughs> the jokes was funny. That, you but you're right. Like LeBron does not deserve the backlash he's receiving. He deserves it because he should have shut the fuck up. But again, Moray said this. <laughs> <laughs> this is Moray. This is the NBA. This is Nike. This is who y'all got to take y'all beef up with. LeBron's just the messenger. Yeah, a lot of people, Um, I'll just read this comment from Holly, Holly Relevant Commenter. Greetings, Hotep. The whole China thing exposed how progressives actually hate freedom. China is the one we have to watch. They are, real, they are a threat. Now, a lot of people are coming at this angle that, you know, China has to be, is the one we have to stop, man. We have to go, I don't know, some people almost banging, banging, banging the drums of war with China, man. Oh, now we don't want that. <laughs> That's what I want to say. That's something we don't want. We don't, yeah, this Chinese little crazy. I ain't fucking with them. <laughs> nah, they don't, they, ooh, ooh, nah. I'm I'm looking for a little Chinese woman now, just in case. <laughs> just in case, yeah, I need a little privilege from my new oppressor. <laughs> the kids is in the car today. They asked me, they asked me something. I said, y'all better start learning how to count in Chinese and Mandarin. God damn it, because because the white man's out the paint now. <laughs> But conspiracy theorists have been saying this for like the past decade that China was supposed to overtake the world by pop by population, and then another fifty years later, uh, the world was going to be Asian. That's Alex Jones, that Chicom shit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Chicom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he he hasn't been wrong yet. The nigga been right all along. You know what I mean? I've been following. Uh, Alex Jones, since I got on Twitter in 2009, he ain't been, I ain't seen nothing wrong yet. Maybe a couple of inaccuracies, but he ain't been wrong. Yeah. Mark Newell, thanks for $2 donation. Uh, P Dog Knight, freedom of speech is a free, also freedom not to speak, and LeBron should have shut the F up. Um, Ether Gnosis, LJ shines as a sharecropper. 